After this week, I think it's definitely clear that Mullen Automotive is the coolest EV company out there right now. Hi again, everyone. I hope you're all doing really well and welcome to the weekend. Uh, so for two reasons this week, I think Mullen Automotive has proven that it is actually the coolest stock and EV company out there. So firstly, they um, have obviously announced that they are going to be having that charging uh, v truck vehicle called the Power Up. Power Up is also the name of ACDC's last uh, album. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Credit there. Now, the other reason that makes it Marlon Automotive really cool is just the actual nature of the company's stock. So to be cool means that you don't go with the common popular trends and you're kind of seen as being a bit different. You do your own thing. Marlon Automotive, not in the eyes of the mainstream. No one likes it. It's obviously too cool for them. Uh, so Marlon Automotive this week has finished slightly down uh, on the week at only about 14%. Uh, it obviously finished the previous week on a bit of a high. Uh, and we did see a bit of a self at the start of the week, and it's kind of recovered a little bit uh, as the week went on. Now, it's not all bad. Like, there's actually been a series of, um, you know, PR coming out from the company, which have actually been quite positive. We had, uh, you know, obviously the, the power-up truck announced. We had the deal with the New York Power Authority, which, you know, if you look at that in essence, there is the re the real possibility that this could be a much bigger, higher-scale deal for Marlon Automotive. Uh, the New York Power Authority is looking to really go green with what they do, and I think there's some talk that they want to actually upgrade their fleet eventually to EV vehicles. So if these Mullen campus vans uh, actually work out for the company, it might open up for a wider business dealing with Mullen Automotive. Fingers crossed, you never know, it's still early days. Uh, but yeah, so there's potential for that to, to come through. There was also the footage that the company had released of the 350 vans that they are prepping to uh, start finalizing, uh, you know, obviously assembling and uh, getting fine-tuned and ready to release. Uh, and the expected, um, you know, delivery dates of these vans are Q3 and Q4. So there's actually physical evidence out there of Marlboro Mobile heading towards uh, manufacturing and production, which is, you know, what everyone has been waiting for. Uh, it didn't move the needle very much, though, in terms of the stock price. This footage, I thought, might have actually done something to actually push the price up. Uh, which, you know, it's real, you know, it's a real disappointment to see that. Uh, and obviously the other catalyst that happened this week is we saw the um, termination of MAO. Whether or not that's a good thing or not, it's hard to say. On one hand, it's possibly a good thing to be sort of severed with Lawrence Hodge. Um, you know, he kind of was a bit of an unstable character who, uh, you know, uh, every time he sort of said something or did something, it just kind of reverberated negatively on the stock. Um, however, if you know, his technology is legitimate, which, you know, there is a bit of doubt out there whether it is legitimate. But if it is legitimate, it's obviously a bit of a missed opportunity for Marlon Automotive. But at the same time, um, you know, if they're not, if Lawrence Harge isn't willing to put the technology through, um, you know, proper EPA testing that, you know, a partner company wants, you know, it's going to be issues with that, at least in America. So anyway, that space has gone a bit quiet for now. Now, Obviously, um, you know, the stock still finished kind of down this week. Uh, and if you look at the short starter behind the stock, the short starter have actually climbed. Uh, we're about 21% of the float is held short. If you look at last Friday, it was about 16%. Uh, the days to cover is still very low, uh, but that hasn't done uh, too much to, to spook shorts. There's obviously the piled in greater amounts. Um, there's obviously not a lot of pressure on them to cover because it's only about a 7% borrow fee at the moment, according to Fintel. So Marlon Automotive, it's being beaten down by shorts. Uh, and despite a raft of positive catalysts and, you know, some really promising imagery of, you know, vans getting ready to roll off the production line, the stock just can't seem to um, catch a break. Uh, it's been, you know, tough week to sort of really stomach because you kind of thought that well we would actually get to see a bit of a return of the positive momentum given what was uh released to the market but you know for some reason Marlon automotive it just just can't seem to to get there now obviously that must mean that the market still thinks there's like issues in terms of uh the company's cash now we know that the company has about enough uh money to last them at least two years they expect uh, and then plus there's going to be generated revenue from deliveries of vehicles. Uh, but, you know, obviously the market is still a little bit spooked about uh, 
you know, what the future holds for the company. And, you know, obviously we don't, we can't answer that for sure, but at least for now, the path does look a bit clearer and things should be looking up a little bit more. We've got, um, you know, the, the possibility that the company's going to be buying back some stock, which might push the stock price up. Um, I don't know whether that's what's helping hold the stock at around that 15 cent mark where it is now. Uh, but, you know, there's there is definitely some positives for the company at the moment. It is in a more positive position than it probably has been all year, yet the stock isn't really reacting the way you'd expect. Uh, I guess we'll have, just have to see what happens uh, as we head towards this August 3 meeting. Anyway, um, let me know your thoughts on where everything is going with my at the moment. Do you think, you know, the stock is, you know, being contrary into, you know, where it should be? Should the stock be going up or is it rightfully still on that sort of downward trajectory? Share your thoughts in the comments below um, and anything else about the company. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't posted for a little while. I've been very busy and uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about it later soon, but I'm going to be even busier uh, in the next few weeks. But I'll try my best to get back on here and be a little bit more regular. Uh, anyway, till next time, everyone, may the markets trend in your favour. Cheers.